Hi, this is Justin from RGB Link. We're here in Barcelona. Good to be here at the start of the year, fresh new year, with not only some new product releases, but also many of our popular products on show. The exhibition has already been very popular, and we're so excited to be showing you all the visitors uh, the great things that we've got uh, from RGB Link across video processing, of course our streaming, which has been fantastically popular across so many markets. And Importantly here, our Pro AV products as well. There's a big focus for us here at ISE on uh, NDI solutions actually, which are seeing uh, much greater adoption into uh, the uh, corporate AV type markets and you know, generally integrated systems, as well as the, of course our, our broadcast clients that are embracing that technology so well. Just another one of those streaming technologies that, and signal choices that RGB Link uh, makes available through huge range of signal choices and, and uh, solutions that are available. Well, one of the most uh, popular things on the booth, uh, for sure, is the uh, new Mini MX that we're announcing at ISE. And this uh, product will be coming a little bit later in the year, but it's great to be able to showcase and preview this uh, new innovation here at the, the exhibition. Mini MX builds on, of course, our earlier products with Mini Pro. Mini MX, here we have those four 4K inputs, two 2K outputs for preview and program, like a dedicated preview. We've also, of course, many remains to be a webcam when you plug it into a computer, this time via USB-C. You can record by USB, and you can also play back you know, some media and use those as sources on, the, on this new device. The big uh, new thing, really, I guess, on Mini MX is lots more choices of audio. And in fact, we've got two XLR and quarter-inch jack balance mic-ins with phantom power, a line-in, line-out, and a headphone there as well. We're also supporting Bluetooth audio, which would be great for those vloggers out there and people using uh, Bluetooth microphone devices. Mini MX brings a nearly five-inch touchscreen to the Mini for a first time, and we now have, in addition to layer A and B, you've got a background layer here as well, which can be a static image, so you're not left with a, a, just a black as a background. Layer A and B are fully uh, scalable and positionable anywhere in the, in the pixel space. We've also added capability for still, that's like your channel logo, and the logo is now scalable and usable across in a much larger format across the output display. And not to be outdone, we've also got added the capability for on-screen uh, text display or OSD, which can be configured from the app and allows you to put in user-defined text as an overlay on your output image. In addition to being a webcam, Mini MX also supports the direct streaming over IP. Simply plug it in in a platform and you can control that with the uh, on-air button. So you can control whether you're going live to air or, uh, or in standby mode. On the, over on the right hand side we've got preset buttons. So you can get instant recall of those key presets and there are multiple pages of those. Up on the top left there we've got audio controls. These allow you to set the HDMI embedded audio levels. And along the bottom here is more like an audio mixer, uh, given that there is more focus on audio with this new product. Individual level controls uh, for the external inputs and uh, control for the outputs. And you can override and preview audio to the headphones uh, on demand. And of course, which is unique to our mini series, PTZ control built right in with zoom and focus controls and the pan and uh, tilt uh, joystick. Mini MX is sure to be a very popular item as it comes into release a little later in the year and the feedback already during the exhibition has been overwhelming. We're really looking forward to seeing that in, in everybody's hands. New for 2023 is our range of uh, preview or reference monitors. This is the 24 inch, supports up to four 12G SDI inputs. You can multi-view those as well. Of course there's all the on-screen diagnostics with the waveforms and so on available here on the, on the product too. For those in the industry and interested in a high resolution reference monitors, already we've had some fantastic feedback and we're looking forward to uh, really great adoption. Super impressed with the quality of the, the display and this actually comes in three sizes. This is the 24 inch, we do a 27 and a 32 as well. There's multiple modes of operation in the reference monitor. You can do multi-screen or multi-view with quads, three down the side, three across the bottom with the main and you can assign the input to each of those four output areas. Along the bottom here, you've got preset buttons and function buttons. You can choose your source, uh, select from the HDMI or the SDI sources. On the back panel, we've got those four 12G SDIs we talked about. They've got loops on them as well, and you've got an HDMI in. Ethernet control, these reference monitors also support tally. 
Next Generation Q16 Pro makes its debut here at ISE 2023 as well. And here we're showing you the four rack unit uh, device as well as the, the one rack unit device. Q16 Pro has been very popular for integration projects, particularly with video walls, uh, not just uh, LED, which is popular today, but with LCD panels as well, where you need a good number of outputs you know, to create, the, create those video walls and where you need a lot of windows potentially. Q16, each layer, as we traditionally call it, actually does not use up as many layers as, as on, on, on some of our other products. So it's ideal for those control room and monitoring room uh, environments, or in environments where perhaps they don't need the precision of broadcast. This new ver version of the Q16 Pro now features a touchscreen on the front panel, allowing for that easy identification of the status of the product. And in fact, when we, when we go into the device settings here, you can see a representation of the back panel and the statuses. Quick settings are also available from the uh, front panel, which is ideal particularly for the scenarios where you might need to check on the communication settings as we see here. The back panel of Q16 Pro features well-known RGB link modular infrastructure, plot-based, so you can change the input and output modules to requirement. That means minimum overhead when you're putting in a bespoke project. That means you get the signals you need for, for each project. Options here include uh, HDMI, including 4K support. See here, we've got streaming support and uh, SDI, and of course there are uh, other modules such as composites and, and so on to support uh, legacy applications. Across the full RGB Link Pro AV range, Expose is our software platform that really lights up the features that are uh, and unlocks the features of the hardware devices. Here we can see Q16 Pro, and simply clicking on a port shows you the settings that are available for that uh, particular attribute or that port or area. And then you can set up the display areas according to the requirement. And these are your outputs, could be LCD or LED or projection, of course. And then Configuring video to go across those outputs is as simple as dragging and dropping onto the canvas. You can build presets and have those available on recall as you need. The smallest device in the Q16 range is this 1U device, so we've got the tactile buttons on the front. This will be very useful for some of those smaller applications where people need the localized controls. You've got four times HDMI out and up to eight HDMI or SDI or any of one of our signal choices for the, for the input, including 4Ks are available too. Here we have our TAL One Mini solution for streaming. It's really focused particularly on NDI. Here we've got a showing the example of streaming this camera, encoding this HDMI camera into NDI streaming it to another Tower 1 Mini for decode and output on the display. Tower 1 Mini can also switch between the local port as well, so we can go between the NDI stream and an HDMI locally connected input. Tower 1 Mini allows you to take any HDMI or indeed UVC device and turn that into an NDI device, putting it the, a, that into an NDI workflow. Uniquely, this also supports NDI HX3. There's the NDI stream coming in and now we can switch to an, an HDMI source connected locally. Full of features, not just for NDI, but with a clear focus on NDI nonetheless. Uh, you can also so do RTMP streaming and SRT as well. It's been great to be here at ISE showing uh, so many of the new products and of course the old favorites. So many of the people, both friends from before and making new friends. We're ready here at RGB Link to show you what you can do with streaming, of course, and with our Pro AV products, we look forward to those to being integrated into as many applications as possible all over the world. Look forward to seeing you again and welcome you to RGB Link.